See, this is the part of the journey that I love the most. It's when you finally see some of your uh, seeds start to manifest. You feel me? No pun intended. Um, I got some great news. You know, first of all, how you guys doing out there? Hopefully you guys are in the right type of vibration, doing what you got to do, being high vibrational. Watching out for the types of energy slash people that you might attract while you're on this journey. Bro, my manifestations are finally starting to grow. Finally, bro. And I am beyond happy. I was beyond frustrated because I'm like, all right, I know I'm putting in this work. I know I, I'm doing what I got to do. I know I've done, bro, like this year I went through a lot. And this might have been, this this year might has might have been the, butcher in my words, but this year was probably the most difficult year on retention that I've ever been a part of, bro. Like, because you would think the longer you be on a journey, things should get easier and some things do get easier. But then again, you look at how you still like either... Or at least I can speak from my uh, perspective. I still run into different issues, different types of issues, certain things that I thought like I was over with. And it's just it's not even that simple. You know what I'm saying? So like this is why I like the journey. One thing that I should say, um, and this is an SR update, you know, if, if you resonate with this information, shout out to you. Definitely leave a like on the uh, on the um, video. YouTube is trying to uh, censor me, so whatever. I don't know, it's whatever. But uh, one thing I should say, bro, that a lot of people do on a retention journey, and this probably might be like a huge, I want to say it's a huge secret. I think everybody does this, bro. Because when you start on the path to reach somewhere, now your mind is on that goal, right? We be messing it up a lot of times because... We get so obsessed with like, all right, let me get to my goal. Let me get to my goal. Let me get to my goal. All right. If I said I was going to do 30 days, let me do. All right, cool. I'm on 29 days. Bam, 30 days. You know, it's like you reach your goal and then what? Sometimes we be like, I want to manifest a new job. I want to manifest a new girl. I want to manifest this. I want to manifest that. And then when you manifest it, then what? It hit different when you actually act, you, you, you manifest what you, you manifest what you've been working on and now you're not even ready. Like the shit is here and what are you doing? You don't even know how to react to your new blessing, bro. Something that you asked for, something that you put hard time into, bro. I'm telling you right now, the secret to have a successful retention journey is stay on the journey Stay patient. Make sure you are planting your seeds, bro. Because them shits is going to grow. They're going to grow. I'm not I'm not capping. The best way, I would say, let's say, for example, you know, you are on a retention journey and then you thought you found the woman of your dreams. But the woman of your dreams realized like, man, yeah, you cool, but I got other stuff to work on. Now you're left to be quote unquote heartbroken. You want to know the best way to deal with quote unquote heartbreak? Level up, bro. Level up. Sometimes, even the guys that's on retention, well, whether you're on retention or not, sometimes, bro, and you could be like in latter age, you could be 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You could be 30, 40 years old. If you know you haven't, uh, if you know you need some type of redirection or you need some type of like motivation or whatnot, I think personally the best type of motivation is heartbreak or pain. You know what I mean? Or you set your expectation up for something and that something lets you down. The type of energy that you're in when you experience that type of heartache or pain or disappointment, I should say, bro, that right there while you being on retention, that Bro, that honestly, it it may suck feeling like, feeling that way, but that energy, bro, use it, cultivate it. I swear, bro. Start to if you if you want to change your situation, start applying for different jobs, start going to different places. 
the jobs that you're about to apply to right now, bro, I kid you not, you might not even get hired. But the fact that you're putting out the energy to go find a job, you will, you will get, you will, somebody will find you. The opportunity will find you because you are looking for the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? You have to have the, the momentum, bro. The momentum. When you get heartbroken or like you get disappointed or whatever, you feel me? Uh, one of your, one of, one of your homies let you down. They probably stole some money from you and you didn't think like they were still money. And you're like, I really am taking this L, bro. That energy you can, cause you, you can either go vibrate low and do some dumb shit. Like I don't even want to talk about one of my boys, dog. But basically, one of my boys, something happened to his family member, and he reacted. Well, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I probably reacted the same way too. But like he reacted reckless, and you know he kind of got himself into a situation, man. I'm sending him. I'm sending uh, his family condolences. Because, you know, some, sometimes he'd be watching my videos and shit. But, like, you know, something happened in his family and it was crazy, bro. But the thing about it is, like, when, when you're in that energy, when you when you you have nothing left, it's just you. It's just you and your emotions. It's just you and your balls. Pause. You got to pick, you, you pick yourself up off the pavement and get right back at it. That's the best time to utilize your life force energy when shit hits the fan. I say that a lot in my videos and it be so true because every single day, is it going to be a good day? It's going to be a bad day. It's going to be a day where shit hits the fan or it's going to be a day where, you know what I'm saying, you're vibing and everything is, your manifestations are finally starting to, to, to appear. Bro, this year, I felt a little hopeless, bro. Uh, I want to say after my birthday, bro. After my birthday, it was June, July, August, it really just June and July. Cause I was just trying to figure out how did I get back into a situation where like I'm working for a corporation, you know, I am in a situation where, um, you know, it's not a favorable situation, you know what I mean? When it, when it comes to dealing with my personal life and it's just like, what, what the hell did I do? Or how did I get here? So, um, what I realized was like, I don't like this feeling of being uh, in poverty. I don't like this feeling of being uh, confused. I don't like this feeling of being, um... there's a video that I saw, uh, one of my homegirls, uh, she sent it to me and it was this, of this old dude. And this old dude was saying like, um, oh guys, you really think you're horny like that, but really you're not horny. It's, it's really your anxiety. And, and if you, if you, you know, choke the chicken, then that's you calming down your anxiety. I actually want to post that clip, but I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. But it's funny how we have our own self-medicating methods to, you know, feel better when it comes to anxiety or, you know, those type of emotions and shit like that. But of course, choking the chicken, bro, self, self-medicating yourself like that. How many, how many, like... If we being real, bro, like this shit for the moment, it seemed like it's working. But for me, at least, it's like I don't I, I'm, I'm done. I want the real thing. Like, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, from time to time, bro, we have our ways of trying to say, you know, what, I'm going to cope with this by smoking this or I'm going to be doing this and choking the chicken, whatever. Right. But what you got to understand, bro, is that at some point in time. You're going to have to take responsibilities for all of your actions. Every last one of them. Big, small, light, heavy, all that. So with that being said, over a over amount of time that has accumulated, bro, your actions and stuff is going to add is going to add up to how you move about the matrix today. How you manifest today. How you attract today. You know? So again, bro, you got to understand that you have to utilize that life force energy, bro, while you're on retention. If retention is like working for you, then shout out to you. Everybody has their reasons as to why they are on retention. But I don't want to get, I don't want y'all to get it twisted, man. Again, this is a challenging journey. At times it's going to get easy because now your manifestations are coming. It's a snowball effect. 
Now you're just reaping all the benefits of you working so damn hard, bro. I've been working hard all year, bro. And it's like, it's like, the thing about it is that I know I could go harder, but I just know I also have to take into consideration being patient. And, you know, it may not be my time right now, but it's about to be my time pretty soon. I'm not even going to hold you. It hit different when you know it's your time. You feel me? Do your homework on what it is to, to, to know it's your time, bro. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, but outside of that, bro, you know, the matrix is going to be the matrix. It is what it is, no matter what. But I want y'all to just understand that this is a journey. Um, and you got this, bro. You got this. Don't, don't hang your hat on disappointment or man, I was supposed to be the type of guy for this girl and maybe it's not working out right now. Or maybe you thought she was supposed to be the girl for you and she got some shit going on, you feel me? Or maybe, you know, as far as like with your anxiety or all the, if you happen to have anxiety, um, it's probably just a matter of you. Because like with me, I ain't gonna lie. My top anxiety is after a while, I need to, I need to communicate with people. There's times where I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't think that's anxiety. I think that's me. That's just me saying like, forget y'all. Like I don't want to. I don't want to speak. I don't fuck with uh, Instagram and, sh and shit like that. But there are times where I do have. I get anxious, and it's like I want to communicate with somebody. Literally, you know what I'm saying? Just how you doing today and shit like that. And I think it's just in my nature to you know communicate, share information, learn new information, and that's the best. Uh, that's one of the. A better that's a better way to kind of utilize your life force energy when you feel like damn i don't have nothing to do like no you have something to do every single day is a science experiment uh excuse me every single day is a science experiment bro like that's you could be experimenting on some shit you feel me if you want to delve into you know that that realm you know what i'm saying the esoteric esoteric knowledge a lot of people like to call it demonic but it is what it is dog like i, I don't know what to tell y'all bro but uh, outside of that, bro, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure you're drinking your water. Um, understand that energy of disappointment, heartbreak, failure, and shit like that. You can transmute that shit. And I promise you, with that same energy that you're moving with now, like, damn, yeah, I've been hurt. I've been this. I've been that. You've been challenged. Now you have the, the, the I would say, the electromagnetism to really manifest what you want. Because, again, you're going to go out aiming for A, B, and C, and the results might be uh, E, F, G that you're going to get. You feel me? But you have to get out and go. You got it. You got it. Like, bro, like I said, three manifestations have accumulated for me this week. At the beginning of this week, we're, we're two days in to this week, bro. And I'm just like, I'm getting an email saying like, congratulations, uh, 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 uh. Another email saying, hey, da 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 everything came through, you're good. Another email, such and such, such and such. I'm like, this can't be real. But it is real, bro. I've been working hard for it, so now I'm about to reap the benefits of, you know what I'm saying, of my hard work. And this is literally right after so many things that has happened to me in my personal life. And this, and, and, I, and again, I'm, I, I love the fact that you know, I met who I needed to, to, to meet. And uh, as far as like the, the, uh, even from, from the beginning of the year up until now, bro, if you guys really been rocking out with me, MGT OGs, you know what time it is. If y'all, you know, y'all have seen most of my videos, you know what I've been through, especially this year. You know what I'm saying? With the whole thing with the, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a lot of shit that happened this year. So I'm just at, at this point where I'm just like, Finally, bro, my manifestations is coming to fruition, and I'm so happy, bro. I'm so happy, and I can't wait. This is going to be very, very, I am very, 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 very excited, bro. Trust me. So just can't hold out. You know, if, if you feel like, man, like, why isn't this moving fast enough? Like, just trust me. Just be patient. You know what I'm saying? As long as you are moving, as long as your brain is active, as long as you're brainstorming, you're writing out uh, some, some of the... I won't even say your goals, but just write out what your day would be like. You can understand, like, all right, cool. This is how I can really manifest in the matrix. You feel me? I can manifest while practicing semen retention. And, uh, and again, over time, 
your manifestations is going to start to grow. And just like how it'll grow positively, bro, if you don't do anything about your habits, because again, habits are going to be a habit until you break the habit. But if you don't do nothing for uh, nothing about that habit, that habit is going to destroy you, bro. So, number one, look in the mirror and be like, okay, you know you got a habit. Work on it, bro. Nah, seriously, work on it. Like, stop playing. Stop talking to me about, stop talking to the video and, oh, Moody, you did it. No, stop talking to me. Why are you talking to me, bro? Why are you still on YouTube, bro? Why are you still, bro, get off YouTube, bro. Go in the mirror. Go, go in the bathroom right now, bro. And have a conversation with yourself for real. Like, that ass serious, man. Like, trust and believe, bro. And, and, and understand that, like, if you don't change the small, subtle ways of your life, and that, and I don't know what the fuck you be doing, and I don't want to, like, be cursing too much, but I don't know what y'all be doing, you feel me? But you know within your heart, within your soul, what's right and what's wrong for you. If you know something that you're doing is not feeding your spirit, feeding your soul, why are you still doing it? Ask yourself, why are you still doing it? Where did this ideology come from in the first place? You know what I mean? Now, when you actively start to work on yourself, man, now you have more motivation to go out into the matrix and really make something of yourself. I promise you. And then I'm telling you, you're going to be looking this way and you're going to end up catching catching this, whatever this is. But it's going to be a good, it's going to be aligned with what you're trying to do. You see what I'm saying? MGT, what it do? It's your boy Moody Star and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events to talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, messed up, sideways ass matches. Now, first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Let's clap it up, bro. Let's clap it up for the manifestations, brother. Your goals and everything. You know what I'm saying? If you know you've been working hard, especially all this year, whether, you know, you fell off the journey or you, you know, whatever. Because I just every single day, I'm either hearing somebody say day 150 or, dang, I haven't been on this journey. I've been on and off for a couple of weeks and now I'm, you know, I'm just trying to get back on it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, bro. Understand that everything that you do every single day. Big, big actions, small actions is going to affect your reality. Um, literally, right now, it's going to affect your reality. And it's all about just being patient, bro. Again, being patient um, and believing in yourself. And, uh, you know, just really just staying at it, bro. Don't ever, don't ever quit. You feel me? Uh the second that she'd be like, man, you know, I'm tired of this shit. That's when everything literally start to show, show the head a little bit. Like, you know, a little manifestation would come up and tease you. Be like, you sure you done, nigga? Like, you sure you done? Like, nigga, you want, nigga, I, you, all this time, nigga, fuck, you feel me? So you gotta, you really gotta just stay locked in, man. Stay locked in, stay focused, man. Because, bro. I know a lot of times people be like, oh, when are you going to get a good, a better camera, a better this, a better that? Trust me, bro. I hear y'all in the conversation, and I know, I know, I know. Listen, I, I, I watch stuff on YouTube, and um, I'm a big qualities type of person. Like, if, if, if the quality ain't good, I, I you might be having some good information, but if the quality ain't good, like, it's hard for me to consume the information. So I understand. I get where y'all coming from when it, when it comes to... Uh, the content, the type of content that I am posting. But again, bro, I appreciate all the love and support. I appreciate all, you know, the positive comments, the negative comments. I actually love when you guys disagree with me in the comment section so we can go at it, if especially if I have the time too. But uh, yeah, man, manifestations are coming. I'm happy. Um, I want to actually thank Y'all too, bro, because y'all have motivated me, man. Y'all kept me going on the journey, bro. Like, even when I took my little five-day break or whatnot, it went, it seemed like y'all ain't really miss me like that. But even, I know prior to that, I know there's probably somebody saying like, damn, when is Moody going to drop a video and shit like that? So that always played in the back of my mind as I was trying to, you know, plant my seeds in the Matrix. 
I'm like, okay, I'm planning my season in the Matrix, but I got to make sure I got to do something for M MGT or, you know, just, you know, the guys that resonate with this type of uh, information. So I appreciate the motivation and I and I thank y'all. So other than that, it's been your boy Moody Star. Like, share, comment down below, drop a bag on the Cash App to support the team. I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace.